Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we wanted to address a question we get quite frequently and that is how do we heat the tanks in our fish room? So stay tuned. Alright, so when we originally started the fish room we had about 30 tanks or so and at that point we decided to heat each individual tank. We did that for one primary reason and that was we like to be down here, we like to watch TV down here, watch movies and I didn't necessarily want to be down here when the room was 80 degrees. But we ran into a problem. As we started to add more tanks, of course the electricity bill was getting higher and we started to run out of outlets to the point where when we added the wall behind me, we didn't have enough outlets to put heaters in each one of the individual tanks. So we needed to start thinking about heating the room. So a couple of things happened. One, we needed to track the temperatures of the room just naturally based on what we were already doing, how much were we gonna have to heat the room? And so when you're looking at heating a fish room, that's some data that you're going to want. You're going to want to know in all seasons, so if you're in a region where there's winter, you know, there's a distinct winter and fall and spring and summer, you're going to want to know what temperature your room is throughout the day just based on what you're already doing. So I got a thermometer, I got a humidity monitor, I wanted to see what it was in the summer and in the fall and in the winter. And what we started to realize in the summer, once we started running the dehumidifier, the room was already between 78 and 80 degrees. But it was a dry heat. And there is some truth to that. When the room was drier and at that temperature, it really wasn't uncomfortable at all. So I wasn't too worried at that point about heating the room as opposed to each individual tank. So that was great for the summer. But as we moved into the fall, I noticed there was an issue. And the issue was, it wasn't as humid, so the dehumidifier would shut off, and now the room was getting down to 73 to 74 at some times of the day. Obviously, that's not enough to heat the, the tanks that we have. As we move into winter, I opened up the vents down here for the heater, and again, it started to warm right around to 76 to 80, but we needed a little bit more consistency. So when we started to think about building out this wall, I knew at certain times, mainly the spring and the fall, is when we were going to have to work on manipulating the temperature of the room the most. Summertime was fine, it was naturally warm, we closed the vents, the air conditioning's not going on down here, the dehumidifier is running, and we've got our 80 degrees, exactly what we want. In the winter time, the heat, the central heat system is on, we open up the vents, while the dehumidifier is off, the vast majority of the time this room is going to stay right around 78 to 80 degrees. So we had to do something for the spring and the summer, I'm sorry, the spring and the fall, and that's when we decided to put in a small space heater to let that run during times when the temperatures would naturally get uh, a little bit warmer outside, but cooler in the basement. And that would be because our central heating system was no longer running. And so that small space heater takes care of those, those uh, month or so in the, in the spring and the summer, a couple months, where we do have to heat the room with a space heater. In the meantime, we were able to build this whole wall of tanks without adding in any additional heat or heaters, individual heaters, and we pulled the heaters out of almost every single tank in our fish room. There are a few tanks, however, that still have a backup heater. Mostly the tanks over here on this side of the fish room, the 275s and the 150, they each have a heater inside, mainly because they're next to a window. And while we've completely eliminated the vast majority of the draft, if there's an area in the fish room where cold air is going to be coming in during the winter, it's going to be there. And so those heaters are there just as a backup to make sure that any drafts or any breeze that would come in through that window are taken care of with the heaters. The other tanks that we have heaters are usually our Lake Tanganyikan tanks because those fish tend to be sensitive to temperature fluctuation. And so if, we're, if something happens where our heating, our central heating went down or the space heater went out or the dehumidifier got shut off and the temperatures in the room dropped for a prolonged period of time, at least those tanks with the most sensitive fish would have a backup. The, the heaters in those tanks would run. Now, generally speaking, those heaters probably aren't running very long, but we want them there just in case. So, just wanted to take some time out, talk about what we do in the fish room, how we heat the, heat the room itself. It's been really efficient, we haven't had any problems. We do monitor very closely both our temperature and humidity to make sure we don't have any mold issues. So our humidity is usually somewhere in the upper 30s, mid 30s. Temperatures are very consistently right around 78 to 80 degrees, which makes the tanks in the room, generally speaking, 
right around 77, 78 degrees, maybe slightly less. Tanks closer to the floor, uh, temperature a uh, degree or two cooler than the tanks closer to the ceiling. But for the most part, we're getting a lot of consistency. We have thermometers and the vast majority of our tanks just to make sure our temperatures are consistent. And so that's what we do. So if you found this helpful, if you enjoyed the video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.